Um, a lot of people have seen videos about many things, and one of the things that I like to do is aquaponics systems. Now, there are many ways of, of using aquaponics, and I want you to open your mind uh, and understand the potential that aquaponics systems have. Now, what is aquaponics? Aquaponics is the, the mixture of two different type of methods of growing uh, live things, let's say. You know, you can actually take the fish farming, aquaculture, and, and the hydroponics, which is growing without any type of soil, so a soilless type of a way of growing things. Now, both of them have deficiencies, and that's why they come together to work and actually create a new way of growing things that is proving uh, a lot of more um, efficiency, uh, less waste, and a better quality of, 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 of um, plants and, and, and fish, actually. So, what we're gonna understand a little bit is what, what is going on and why it's so important. As, as we understand, a lot of the fertilizers that we use, pesticides, fungicides, and all those things, are byproducts of petroleum. And, you know, I mean, we are pretty much applying this into regular soil and, and, and just letting the, the water or rain just wash these things away to the creeks, rivers, and all the stuff that is doing a lot of contamination besides all the chemical impacts that are in our bodies. So we're understanding and now going towards a more uh, an organic place, I mean, organic way of, 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 of growing our things is way better. Now, you, you still have the situation, well, how, how the plants and the fish are gonna work together? And it's, and it's simple. Naturally, uh, Mother Earth for many years, uh, you know, many millions of years, I will say, has been stabilizing everything that is around. And we understand it now how everything works. So now, I mean, for instance, about 100 years ago, a lot of people was considering soil as the main source of food for, for a plant. And now we understand that are the nutrients inside the soil, which are the most important ones. So if you have the nutrients, you don't need no soil. You know, in a couple of decades ago, a lot of people was experimenting with this in laboratories and all this stuff. And they, they came to the conclusion that if you have enough nutrients to support the plants, well, you're good to go. Uh, and the fish, the, the situation with the fish by itself. Now, when you have a hydroponics by themselves, you have to constantly renovate the water, clean the water, stabilize the water and all these things. And you have a lot of byproducts, all that stuff, you know. And the same thing with the fish. So the fish, you know, the water get, will get dirty. You will not have oxygen, you know, uh, toxics, a uh, toxic uh, uh, compound will start creating because of the natural process, you know. That's why the water normally I mean, the fish normally lives in running water and all the stuff, they need oxygen. So by providing all these things to, to your system, you actually have a nice cyclical way of, of uh, growing both fish and plants. Now, um, all the important thing about aquaponics is that you can do it you know, pretty much everywhere. You can have a rooftop, you can have a regular greenhouse, you can have many many ways of growing it and you will be finding now what is the most uh, convenient way for you to grow it now we understand that also we have you know insects and bugs and pests that normally go around but also we understand that through natural ways we can um, uh, take care of the stuff like you know coating our our plants with natural oils you know combination natural oils and natural oils that you will probably learn a little more i have some more videos that will teach you about that stuff you can also actually um, provide more nutrients by adding more natural stuff to the water and you can actually balance all those things. And so if, if you start understanding this situation, uh, people that just grow fish will understand now that they have a huge potential by also using that water to grow crops. Um, the other thing is that you are using nature's uh, ability to transform all these nutrients and chemicals and compounds. You know, now we're gonna be talking about bacterial ways of, of working. And pretty much what it happens, I mean, don't get scared if you talk about bacteria, because I mean, bacteria is everywhere, and that's the one that helps us a lot. But when we put a lot of petroleum-based nutrients into, into uh, the soil, you pretty much start killing all the beneficial stuff. In our systems, we actually promote the growth of beneficial bacteria to be able to uh, transform uh, uh, compounds like ammonia into uh, uh, other ones that will release nitrogen into the plants that are crucial. Now, we're gonna feed our fish really, really well, and we're gonna have plants that are gonna be really well uh, uh, enriched with nutrients. So that's pretty much how aquaponic systems work. Now, 
uh, if you have the desire to learn more there's plenty of videos on the web you know youtube has a lot of more stuff i have a lot of things that can teach you how to uh, you know start growing your own things don't be frustrated you don't need a lot of money i mean these things i happen to be a a, a plumber blah, blah 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 so i have the ability but you can actually use bottles you know uh recycle bottles you know uh, there are plenty of things that you can do to be to to start growing your own food in a nice way also if you want to grow fish i mean that's that's nice if you want to have them as just pets that's okay as well but i, I hope you understand a little bit you start understanding a little bit how all this works